figure out some vibrations. Oh yeah, here she comes. <laughs> oh, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatics. Friends, it's been quite some time since we've done a tarantula feeding video. Months, literally. And so I figured, hey, what better time than now to get back into the arachnid content? I do have some unfortunate news to share with you all. My female Ephebipus marinus skeleton tarantula, Sally, has unfortunately passed away. Guys, to be honest, I have no idea how old Sally was. Her death seemed untimely, but at the same time, I purchased her as an adult animal back in... 2018. So to be honest with you all, maybe it was her time. I don't know, but I'm really gonna miss that spider. She was such an interesting animal. She had such an intricate web mat over her whole enclosure, and she had some pretty insane takedowns as far as feeding went. Very entertaining animals. So rest in peace, Sally. You had a very special place in my heart. I just wanted to let you all know that that happened. Really unfortunate, but death is a part of life, right? So we have to continue and honor her. So I would like to uh, dedicate this feeding video to Sally in honor of that spider. We're gonna kick things off with a non-tarantula spider. We're actually gonna feed Blueberry, who is my adorable little black velvet spider. I'm sure you guys miss seeing her. She's very cute. So let's get right into it. She hasn't eaten in a little while, so I'm confident that she'll be quite receptive to this mealworm. We get it to trigger some vibrations. Oh yeah, here she comes. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hey, Blueberry. What? Look at her go. She got it. Isn't she so cute? Hello, Blueberry. That is one adorable spider. Okay, everybody. Arguably one of the prettiest spiders I own. We're gonna feed my Kilobrachy species electric blue female a cricket. Let's see what she does. Whoa! <laughs> this again. Look, I got this for you. Would you like to eat a cricket? There we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, there she is again. Maybe we can get her to come out this side and eat one. Hello. Ooh, now that's a nice, nice spider. Look at that color. All right, I've just replaced Dorothy's water dish with a clean one and we've refilled it, poured a bit of water and add some humidity. Let's go ahead and see now if she'd like to eat. Figured we could try something more exciting and use a cricket. Whoa, whoa, she got it. It leapt all the way back there and she grabbed it. Dang, Let's see if she'll take another one. Oh, nice. Woo, good stuff, Dorothy. Oh, look at all those cricket eggs. You see that? Yikes. Now she's doing her happy dance. She's enjoying that. I'm gonna give her one more. Wow. All right, that is a very happy spider. All right, next up is Odyssey, my female Grandma Stola Pulcra. This is the Brazilian black. She's absolutely stunning. Let's see what she does with the super one. Whoa, dang, Odyssey. <laughs> that was quite the takedown. Well, let's give her another one. Oops, I kind of got flung. Is she gonna manage? No, not yet, she doesn't have it yet. Huh. There you go. She's digging it out. She's trying to pick it up. She's got it. Beautiful girl. Wow guys, seems like the feeding video is going pretty good so far. And for today's question of the day, I wanna ask you all uh, kind of an intimate question. How do you deal with 
the loss of a pet's life in your home. Those of you that have owned pets, how do you go about processing it, grieving, at the same time maybe being detached to a certain level? I'm curious to know, are there some types of pets that affect you more than others when it comes to experiencing this? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'll give your comment a heart. I think that's timely and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Okay guys, here is Unicorn, the Serata Gyrus Marshali Straight Horn Baboon. Oh my, what the, that was so cool. What? That was something else. Okay. Unicorn, you are an impressive beast. I will say, very impressive animal. Do you want another cricket? Oh, I guess she got it. I am too slow for you. I'm so glad we got that other takedown. That was insane. Holy. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Okay, friends, the next spider we're gonna feed is Goldilocks, my female Gramostola Polker Peas is the Choco Golden Me. Now, I want to try a super worm with her. She really likes crickets, but lately, I don't know, she doesn't really, oh, okay. <laughs> never mind. I was gonna say, it never really seems like she likes super worms. She's always about the crickets, but that was a surprise. Nice. Right, she definitely got it. She's a pretty big spider, so we'll see if she'll accept a second one. Oh, there we go. Oh, yikes. Sorry, superworm. Ooh. All right, well, I'd say she's pretty happy with that. Guys, check it out. After literally, what, like three years, Ruby molted. I'm not sure if you guys remember what Ruby used to look like, but her abdomen is kind of weird, quite funky. No urticating hairs on it. It looked kind of like there was a scab over it. So we were patiently waiting quite some time for her to molt, and she finally did, and man, she looks amazing. Of course, again, you know, it only took her like, what, three years to molt? <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see what she does with the superworm. Nice. Good job, girl. Oh, wow. That one's making you work for it, kind of. Good stuff. Nice job, Ruby. Very, very nice. Awesome. Okay, everybody. Next up, we have my juvenile female Lassiodora Parahibana Salmon Pink Bird Eating Tarantula. Ooh, she got it all right. All right, guys, maybe you remember that Halloween special we did where we set up Bebe in this coffin hide enclosure a few years ago. Let's go ahead and feed her now. This is my Brachypelma Baumgartner female. Beautiful tarantula. All right. Ooh, okay, she got it. Fantastic. Good job, girl. Okay, everybody, the last spider we're gonna feed today is Aragog, my female Theraphosa Sturmy. This is the Burgundy Goliath bird-eating tarantula. Gonna go ahead now and offer her some super worms. Here we go. Whoa! Now that was a strike. Whoa, she's, she's looking like she could molt soon. Crazy, that would have fixed that pedipulp, right? And she does have that one messed up pedipulp. I'm still not sure if she's gonna lose it or she'll be able to keep it. We'll have to see what happens, but yeah. Of course, with a big spider like this, we're far from done feeding her, so we'll keep going. Ooh, 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 you can see all the veggies there in their gut because I gut loaded them. 
with bee pollen and dark leafy greens before feeding them to the arachnids. Nice job, Aragog. Let's give her one more since it's the grand finale. See how she senses it? There we go. Oh! All right. Nice job, Aragog. And as always, before we end today's video, I'd like to take a moment to sincerely thank my channel patrons over on the Patreon platform. Friends, thank you so much for your continued additional support of this channel. If you're looking for a way to support Reptiliatus and unlock a bunch of perks, such as a video shout out when you first join, discounts on merch, exclusive content, sneak peeks, and more, as well as a direct line of communication with me, you can check out the link in the video description down below for more information. And with that being said, I'm going to be giving a shout out to my newest patron over on the Patreon platform since last video. Today we're thanking Marcin. Thank you so much for becoming a new Patreon member. Really appreciate your patronage. Awesome. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's tarantula feeding video. I know there was some bad news there at the start, but hopefully we did a good job here of commemorating Sally. She was a lovely spider, and I'm really gonna miss that girl. Such a cool animal. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. I sincerely hope you enjoyed again. If you wanna see more tarantula or arachnid-related content, check out the playlist up above. Don't forget to answer today's question of the day, and I look forward to seeing you all next week for our next video. And if you enjoyed the video also, I'll add quickly, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It does a lot for the channel and lets the algorithm know that people are enjoying the content. Thanks everybody, take care, and see you soon.